hear us?
by the end of June. That was our target date as far as our um, grant online. And we will need an extension, obviously, because it may take um, dozens a little longer. I hope not for their sake. Right, right. Plus, then we won't have these flash pads until after they're gone. So, um, can we apply for an extension? All you need to do is make a motion to have me apply for an extension on your behalf, and I'll take care of it. Is there a motion to apply for an extension of the grant completion?
up to the property owner to get those down. I think the, the rule is the village can tell you to have the tree removed if it's an obstacle or a hurdle problem with it being the you know, main sidewalk break coming up the streets and that type of stuff. But when you're looking for damage caused by the wind or, or whatever, it's still a property owner's responsibility to take care of the trees, even if everybody can plant trees and replace the trees even when the streets are still a property owner to maintain those trees and they have to be a certain type of tree at that time so it still falls back to the property owners and responsibility. I know that the town is responsible for the bricks in the town. Not really. Uh, well, that, that, the, those waterways are the responsibility of the property owners too. Right, right. Because they said it's going to fall. Check with zoning. I think if nothing higher than four feet can come out in the front of the house. You can get the six foot on the back, you know, if you do that. And as far as I know, on the side. But what you can't do is come to your front yard with anything taller than six four feet. Four feet. And if you did come down the side, you have to be so many feet off of your neighbor's property line on the your side.
tomorrow we have to go and look at them. Okay. Chamber. We don't have any chamber. Chamber. They don't have anything. Yeah. Safety. Want to read that for us, Ralph? Yeah. Uh, calls for service was 50. Reports made were five. One arrest. No citations and two warnings.
sanitation. Mayor James, we're ready for you.
I've spoken to you. They, there's no objection from the board.
not hiring someone else. Randy already works for us. Well, Kathy brought up the uh, finance brought up that we do have to watch our money at this time because of people being out of work from this virus and being confined at home. Some of them are getting a paycheck that means we're not going to be getting our income tax and or our real estate tax money probably. Because a lot of people aren't able to pay their house payments. The motion is that you're waiting for a second. Her, her motion is that we have the village employees mow all the properties that are sanitation along with ours, the school down here, and that they are allowed to use the village mower for all those things. Is that correct, Mayor Jane? Yes, and there is a clause in one of the ordinances that states it's not to be used for well, sanitation. Well, we just corrected that. Just now, yeah. because we just said we would use it. Anything else on sanitation? Um, I think that's all. Okay. Okay. The planning board has not met, so there is no report from them. CPA, how are you guys doing? Very well right now. and ordinance, working on ordinances, or the ordinance for the uh, property maintenance, and Jane's been working on that. I've got some more information for her that she didn't have that I'll be sending to her. Mary Jane, I do have a question for you. Oh, okay. Would you like me to empty your mailbox and bring you everything in it? Oh, no, I need to come down okay. here and make some copies. I'll do that tomorrow. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Should be in your file, yes. Uh, okay. 
now, but it was. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're not giving up on that. No. We can't give up on that. No, we cannot. Absolutely.
place was decided about where it would be. It was brought up, he said to us, as close to the, as closer to the water and the electric will be cheaper for you, which is common sense and we know that. Okay? I do apologize, but please don't blame the village council. It wasn't them, it was me. And we will try to keep this going better. It's just kind of an experience right now that I haven't been through before, and I don't think anybody else has either. And I'm trying to keep everybody as safe as I can and as separate as I can. Now, what you got for us? All right. Well, on behalf of you, thank you for your apology. And we were just kind of taken back. I mean, even if just let us know that it's happening. And not, I mean, I'm, an, I'm considered essential, so I'm out every day. <laughs> that doesn't mean nice to be wanted. Yes, exactly. So I'm out on a daily basis. So in construction, I'm deemed essential, and so I'm out on a daily basis as it is. So. And my schedule is very flexible, so I'm able to, even if you say, hey, we meet an hour, I'm most likely to be there, and if there's not, so forth. We did have a little bit. I don't want you to think. Oh, I'm no, that's, and that's fine. That's fine. And I, I mean, hope these guys a couple of days ahead and said to you, could you be there? And I expected them to tell you that we've been there, but nothing occurred. So. Um, a couple of things on the park side. Um, we, we have been working. <laughs> We did have a meeting, a uh, Zoom meeting last week um, with our committee. We did not have, well, we had Luther and we did not, I don't know why I didn't know have more come in no, on the Zoom but, meeting. Evidently, wasn't invited. <laughs> uh, you know, you guys complained Ralph was never there, but you never called me when you, you know, you want, you want somebody to yeah. work with you, you've got to work with everybody. Right. I understand. And you know what, Luther's not the only guy that's on that committee. And so we, I expect that phone call. Well, well, that, well, absolutely. You know, well. You're complaining about not getting, being informed of fair. That, <coughs> yeah. that, you know. And that's our fault. Don't. And I'm, I'm sorry for that as well. Yeah. It just, yeah, it that's, just occurred to me. The guy, that, that's, that's about the second or third time that you rough with my feathers, too. Okay. Changing times and dates. Not telling nobody. Starting meetings early. I, I get them an hour to two hours when I was on that committee before the meeting was to even take place. And there's a lot of meetings I didn't make because I didn't get enough well, heads up on her back. One. But I would like to go back to one thing here. Uh, the mayor in this village has the authority to do what she did, whether the park committee likes it or and not. I'll back her up. She rules the village in, a, in regards to the safety and well-being of everybody in here, whether it upsets the park committee or not. And we still keep going back to the same thing that I said. When I was on the park committee, before the park committee was ever designed, this is a park that belongs to the village of New Paris. It doesn't belong to the Dayton Foundation. It doesn't belong to the Chamber of Commerce. It belongs to the village of New Paris. And, and it's up to the mayor and the council to dictate how that park is designed and where it goes from point A to B to C to D. Exactly, and that's and why we have other, meetings and we go like together, but, but we're you failing to, to You meetings. seem to think, the park committee oh. seems to think that, it, it, that, that most of it is in your, it's in your ballpark, it's in your control, and it's not. But in regards to the mayor, I applaud her for what she did. Thank you, Kathy. And we understand that, and that's why we come to you before, and that's why it's written on our bylaws, that we come to you before we do anything, because you guys do have the final say. And that's why we have the joint work session, so that we can work together and you have the final say. Okay. Speaking of I that, did not read that to get a, you know, you're honestly, right. no, I you're read right. it into the record because I, it's no. not their fault, it was mine. No. And, and we greatly accept your apology. Okay. All right. What do you okay. Want to On that, um, we are looking to apply to Reed Hospital for a $15,000 grant. I'll get more from that. Well, this is just this is a certain type of grant that's their max uh -huh. on this grant um, for exercise stationary type exercise equipment to go down at the park along the path at some point, as well as for new basketball goals and rings. Explain to me what kind of equipment. Um, it would not be like not like weights and things like that. It's, it's more no, like a uh, stationary bicycle or a rowing machine or some type of stationary thing where you're not 
using three ways of things. You're basically using your own resistance. So it's made for, for outdoors. Things. Made oh, for outdoors, yes. 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 It is It is absolutely made for outdoors. So we are coming to you to get your permission to go ahead and go forward on this grant project to get this equipment purchased or to apply for the grant in hopes of getting this equipment purchased and installed at the park. And once, a timeline on what the grant uh, The grant has to be in by May 21st. That's why I came down today. Sure. Yeah. And we don't know for sure how long it is before they uh, make the award. Um, we do not know. It's sometime in June that we'll find out. Now, we have been in contact with Reed, and they were very excited about, because we wanted to make sure that this was a project that they, their grant would yeah. fund. Um, we didn't want to start working on this, and then we're like, "Well, this doesn't go for what we're working for out of our foundation." So we were in contact with Reed. Um, with your approval tonight, we'll go ahead and continue and contact um, the vendors, and I will get with Jimmy, and we will have a meeting sometime here in the next um, two weeks. Um, I'll get hold of him, and we'll get down and kind of find an area that we might want to put this equipment in. Our thinking is near the basketball court um, around that shelter house down in that area. So then it's not anywhere near what's going to be coming down at some point in that area. Well, so. and you know, if if you want to store it for a little while, you yeah. could do that, I think. You'd yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure yet on the length of the grant, once we receive yeah. the grant, how long we have that. to have yeah. the stuff put in. Um, we have talked to several people, and it used to be that some places would put the stations along the track. Uh -huh. um, it has come to more of a consistent basis now that people don't want that. They want it kind of in one area so they can run the track, yeah, work out. Hard. Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> um, and, and there are there are actual regulations and things like that, and that's sure. what we'll get from the vendor, how mm -hmm. far apart they have to be, and that kind of nature. Um, so that way we'll find kind of an area for them to go into. But that grant would cover those um, stationary exercise devices, machines, whatever they are, um, and um, the new goals and rims for the basketball court. Okay. Um, so I guess I need... Are there questions for, rec for uh, Brad? Wasn't part of that already uh, the basketball goal? The goal that wasn't that already approved in a previous council meeting for seven thousand dollars that we approved to go towards that. Ours it was seventeen. Yeah. It was money that we had collected through the car show and all those things. But that's already been tagged for. It has the tag for the basketball. It's for it's for the whole court. The goals and everything are kind of expensive, and what we're looking at to do with the court exceeds the amount of money. the amount of money that has been set aside. So this will be kind of a helpful thing to put towards. We, we are getting the um, poles um, donated to us by 323 Design. They're actually um, going to weld them and build them themselves. So right now we're kind of still right on the on the basketball court that we're talking about it. We're still waiting to hear from Timken Steel on their grant. It was supposed to have been in by now, but I'm assuming with every foundation else they're not meeting so <laughs> so we're, we're kind of hoping that comes through and once that comes through then we will well, I'm, I'm sure but, well and they're kind of like us though they may it's coming from the Timken Steel Foundation yes, I which is a separate in, I mean part of Timken Steel but kind of a separate yes. group um, and it may not be local yeah, exactly, and so they, and they may be, you know, like like when we talk to Simon, well, that or their median age of their group may be yes. older and not want to meet, you know. Once they're trying um, to wean yeah. out of the population right now, but I'm one of them, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but, so, we're just looking for approval to go ahead for that uh, read grant, for that equipment, um, and the basketball goals. And then, like I said, hopefully here, and we'll know more about the actual basketball court, and then we'll have our next joint meeting. We'll be able to sit down and discuss the different um, different quotes sure. and the mm -hmm. estimates that we have for the different ways of doing the court, and how we feel 
as a group would best serve the park. So. Um, now, you're not, they're not asking us for any money. No. They are only asking permission to apply for the grant, correct? Correct. Is, are there any other questions for Brad? Any questions, Peggy? that we uh, allow this grant to be applied for. Can you do it as a foundation? Yes. Okay. Yes. Allow them to apply for this grant to his equipment. I have one thing on that. If yes. the grant is approved, who dictates where and how that money is spent? Are you just... I is, think the grant, is the grant awarded to Dayton Foundation and the Park Committee? It, it, and then do you guys award. decide how you want to use it or do you no. bring it to the table and say, this is what we've got to grant money. This is what we have to work with. We, we now will design a plan. Yeah, we will bring it to the table. Okay. Yes. That, I mean, we're, we're looking at equipment and things like that just as a budgetary option right now because as Susan knows, with any grant that you put out, you have to have a budget and a listed and a plan. And then once we get that money, then we'll bring it to the table and say, you know, we got the money. Here's what our ideas are. What are your guys' ideas? Where do you think it should go? What's best? And that sort of thing. I move we allow the Park Committee Foundation to apply for the um, response for the grant. Is there a second to the motion? I'll second it. There's a move, it's been moved and seconded. And yes, more? Yes. Peggy? Thank you. Mary Jane. Yeah. Ralph. Yeah. Okay. Thank you guys very much. You're welcome. Um, one last thing is I know start kind of open up and stuff. Um, we were hoping that sometime late May, early June, we could have go ahead and get our work session put back on to um, where we meet again as a collective. We're still on lockdown until the 29th. Is that correct? I, I think that's the new stay-at-home I don't know. I, I said I'm essential, so I go out every day. May 29th <laughs> is the date, I think, for the stay-at-home order, the next date. Okay. Whether we're not after that, we'll be able okay, to. So we'll meet June 1st. Okay. So, so we'll at talk. that meeting, I June think it's, we should hopefully we'll know okay. a little bit more. And hopefully we'll know about the grant as well. So we'll, we'll sit down yes. and we'll know. Yeah. Uh, we'll try to get everything done in one shot.
we may do whatever we like because this is an unusual situation. This is not just somebody not paying their taxes. This is another taxing entity, just as we are. The village people, the people who live here, will have to pay them if we take the money away from them, or they'll suffer if we take the money away from them. We can do a percentage, we can do whatever we like, as long as we are clear in the resolution that we pass when we do it, that it is a one-time thing and because of misfeasance, malfeasance, whatever went on there, you know, it wasn't just we didn't want to pay it, it was the mistake made by somebody who they were paid but not in a timely fashion. Yes, they were paid. And but it was late. All the taxes are paid. I, I will make sure that whatever, since we have gotten the notice and been informed of this, whatever's been attached since then, I think we will try to forgive because we're holding it up. But the reason we're holding it up is I want to talk to our attorney about it. We don't want to set a bad precedent. But because of the nature of the debtor, in this case, being another taxing entity, we would be punishing our own citizens if we enforce this. We can, if we want to, we can enforce it all the way down, or we can do a percentage, or we can we forget the whole thing. I'd like you to all think about what you want to do in this situation so that we can make a decision, get a resolution written, and get it passed so that they know what they're going to have to pay and uh, what they won't have to, what they're not facing. But I will ask at that time that you forgive anything that's come in additional penalty and late fees from the time we got this on our, at our meeting, which was probably two months ago. We didn't find out until late also. I know. So please be thinking about what you want to do with that debt and uh, We'll try to talk about it at our next meeting. Just to refresh your memory, the amount of the uh, penalty and interest was four thousand seven hundred seventy-two dollars and thirty-three cents. Okay. Is there any further business? When, when I the me, uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. What, Mayor Jim? No. Okay. I mean, we've been waiting to get the information from Jacob, and we just got that. You and I did. And then yeah. uh, the um, the other part of it is then it's up to council to decide what kind of deal they want to make, if they want to make one. It's tax money from one place to the other. It's just shoveling it from one side to the other side. And so because are we going to discuss it now or is no, it no, I will discuss it and try to decide on an amount at the next meeting. But I'd like you to think about what you want to do. I just, okay. I just wanted to say that.
Jamie, you want to make that in the form of a motion? Advertisement or not, advertisement, but just 
just a list of names of who donated yeah. what. And, that, and that's really going to be basically it. I know uh, the more, were you the one that put the other signs up there? So that's right. Okay. And, and that's right as well. Those would be temporary signs, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, those are temporary. Okay. Yes. I'm not talking about temporary. I'm talking about these temporary. two plaques attached to the show. Okay. Yeah. And okay. I and uh, I don't think we should have any. Uh, you still, you don't think we should acknowledge somebody that donated their time or material? Or I don't think uh, that. Uh, well, there's uh, what I say is no. I think not. If somebody can't donate out uh, of the goodness of their heart, and they don't have to have a feather in their cap for doing it. Well, I'm not sure that was put up there with that intention. I think it was put up there just for the public to be acknowledged. I don't doubt that yeah. for one. I don't doubt that for one minute. But what I'm saying is, where does it stop? If we. Well, if those, those are up, then what's, what comes next? That's up to the council. Well, that's right. That's why I'm talking about it. That's why I'm talking about it right now at this minute. It's because it, it, uh, I don't think that we should be advertising, having an advertisement on the public park. There's a, what are you going to stop? Well, what are you going to stop? No, it's just his it's name. Not, it's not a, I'm talking to you. Talking. I don't think. What, what do you say I about? don't see that as a business advertisement. I think it's just a thank you gesture to an individual that donated time and money or or equipment or whatever I agree. I agree. any more than you or I, I would I as agree. citizens. I agree. And this is a thank you. Well, what about all the money uh, that uh, has been uh, given to the park volunteer if, park committee? Or, or if they want, if, if they want to do that, not the park committee itself, but if they want to bring that before council, and that's council, would, want, and council would say, yeah, we yeah. need to recognize everybody that puts a dollar or. A, or whatever, Most if you want to do that. But I don't think too many people want to be recognized that they did it, you know. And I agree. And, and maybe agree. he didn't either. I don't know. Uh, what, I don't know the gentleman whether he wanted that sign up there or he not. He didn't ask for it. I don't think he asked for it. I'm only saying, I'm only saying, it's up on the two of them or on the two shelters. And I don't. Yeah. Then, what, then what? Are we going to stop? What are we going to stop putting? When they bring it to the table, you can stop it. That's what I'm doing right this minute, bring it to the table. Well, there isn't anything, anything else on the table. Right there. Say, we're we're, just we're a long ways away from yeah. having any, any type of, it would not be until the very last stages of park <laughs> construction that we have any type of permanent um, donation board well, or anything like that when it comes, when we bring it to a joint session at that time. Um, and it will be everybody that do donates a dollar. You know, most places have uh, a gold and a silver and a bronze, and they, you know, the companies that say any penny gives us $200,000. Yeah, you know, what their name might be a little bigger than somebody else that gives us $10,000 or, you know, $5,000 or $1,000. It just depends on and again, it depends on what the council wants when we I'm get to sorry, that point. I'm sorry, I'm and that's why I'm bringing it before the council, because the council, council is the one that's going to decide, not you or your committee, the council people are going to decide on this. And I'm saying that since it's already started, where it's, they, uh, we have two things, giving credit to a certain person, when are we going to stop? When we're going to stop doing that? When, it, I don't, in it, how's it going to stop? I think most businesses want that. Huh? I think most businesses want that recognition. They aren't just giving things away because it's fun. And a lot of them don't have anything to do with us. I mean, it's not like they well, live they, here. If they, if they give donations, it's a tax write-off, isn't it? Well, I suppose it is, yeah. Well, well that sure it is. If they turn it in, it might be. Huh? If they turn it in, it might be. But, but what they were talking about a while ago from the... Mary Jane, hold on a minute. Go ahead, Ralph. From the re-donation aspect of this thing, yes. um, if, if they wanted recognition,
designation in some way, I'm sure with what they're going to donate, you might want to put a sign or something for her saying this this was donated by Reed Foundation. Well, there's been there's minutes if, if to you, talk about that yeah. about Reed call, call, having the walkway as being health and fitness. Do you know anything it about could, that, Brad? It could come under that umbrella eventually. Uh -huh. Yes. But do you feel like if it does that we shouldn't as a part recognize the fact that they were kind, kind enough to to donate their time or money to that project? I'm not real sure you want to leave it all blank. I think, I, I, I think if you, you If you do, Peggy, I'm afraid you won't get much donations. Oh, come on. And we won't move forward on come some on. of this. Come on. That's just my own personal opinion. Uh, they have Reed Hospital, if I'm correct. They have their money that they're going to give us. They have their money right. they're going to give us. And they, doesn't, they don't necessarily want recognition for That's that right. money. That's but right. somewhere down the road, you may find someone that would like to be thanked publicly for that. And people that put that kind of money and that kind of effort into it, personally for me, I don't mind putting their name on a wall and saying thank you. I think this is something that can be handled on a case-by-case -case basis. I think true. And um, right now, we don't have anybody else, I don't think, that <laughs> needs to be uh, made. The only thing is that uh, if we do get the Timken Steel That's Grant, right. there'd be another one. But right now, yeah. right now again, this is something that is, I even if we get the Reed Grant now, it may still be something at the very end where we put up some type of sure. donor you plaque or something. Right. And go from there, but right now, this is something that is, you know, in the 2021, you yeah. know, yeah. 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 You can put an 8 by 10 plaque up yeah. there, and, 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 have and letters, and have a lot of names exactly on there. Right. Right. Well, you wouldn't yeah. have to yeah. put plaques on every pole or every, every, every tree in the park, but eventually, I think there could be, and, and should be, a design of some kind recognizing the ones that yes, have donated uh, are the parks, for the park. Are the parks in Preble County here, do, do they have a... Do I don't do care that? whether they do or not. That's not I'm my sure part. Uh, but I'm sure some of them do. Some of them are named after the company, aren't they? they? There, there's... Well, their parks named after a foundation. Yeah. There's uh, uh, high school sports arenas here yes. in, the, in the county that have uh, the hospital's names to it, not necessarily read, but one of them from Dayton and their advertisement. They put advertisements on the walls of, of all kinds of sports places in the but county. But this is government. New Paris Hall is just government. That's true, but I, like it's I government. said, no, I, I think, I think some way, some way these people that donate their time and money to see that this park completely gets finished needs to be thanked. I think that's something that each council person is just going to have to make up their mind about and vote on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. I think so, and I'm not, bring, I'm not bringing it up to vote on today. No, I know. Yeah. I think that it's something that we have to think about. Okay, is there anything else? If not, our next meeting will be on June 1st. I thank everybody. Is there a motion to adjourn? Is there a second? Yeah. Thank you all, everybody. Thank you.